Hello, this is Tola from Trifle Productions with another Blender quick tip. And this time I'm going to be giving a quick tip on a uh, add-on that was made by Andrew Price, Andrew Price of Blender Guru. It's called uh, Pro Lighting Studios. It's been out for a while um, and it's actually pretty good. Um, just had uh, some issues with it in terms of how to use it in an environment uh, where you would want the bottom part which is the ground level uh, which would be let's see one which would be along this the x-axis um, sometimes when you actually when you use it all the time you'd have the sky uh, texture HDRI image at the top but at the bottom it would just be completely black and I've tried to use it uh, for a customer that I'm working with uh, and the uh, customer requires me to have a plane flying in the air so I thought let me just use Pro Lighting Studios to uh, light the scene and I'll have clouds kind of blocking out the, the ground level or the ground where it's all black and I've tried it and it just doesn't seem to work right so I want to show you how to actually um, solve that issue. I'm gonna let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go to cycles, open up Blender, go to cycles render. Um, let's take our camera, press Alt R to clear the rotation. I'm gonna pull this down on the Z axis and press 3 to position it uh, along the right side. And then I'm going to rotate it again. It's actually point towards the cube because the cube is going to be our focal point. Let's go back to one. Press R. Hold down control that'll uh, snap it to the position. Go back to the side view and we're going to rotate it on the rotate so that the camera's sitting upright and pointing straight at the cube. So press R again. Hold down control and then snap it to that position. Press zero on the number pad to look through the camera. Okay, we're in cycles render and I'm going to activate or turn on the viewport, the rendered viewport so you can see how it looks in cycles. Now it's just great because that's the default background in Blender. And let's click on, let me see where it is the add-on, let me see the world tab, here it is. Uh, Pro Lighting Skies Ultimate, now just so that everyone knows Pro Lighting Skies is an add-on that you have to pay for. It's not free, <clears throat> but for the price, it's a good price. I think it's like around $150, something like that, so it's a good price. Let's click on that to activate the add-on. And, we'll, and as you can see, it shows up in the viewport. And to select a different kind of sky, I'm going to click inside that uh, box. Let me go up to a, a, a sky texture, texture that looks a lot more interesting. Uh, let's click on number 10. <clears throat> As you can see, the sky looks great, but the issue you want to scan is this black um, part of your scene, which I mean, you could try to put down, which I've done that before, try, try to put down a plane or some kind of something on the bottom here to show that this is the ground and to kind of hide the darkness. But when you pull the camera up, it still shows you know parts of the the black in there and that doesn't really look right and then when you go over here on rotation it'll ro rotate your sky but it'll rotate it uh, I just say from east to west as opposed from north to south which means it'll rotate the sky from side to side let's click on it and click on this a couple of times so you can see what I'm talking about and we're at 18 degrees and it just pretty much moves the sky from left to right and that's not what we're wanting to happen. We want the the sky to actually go down a little bit. So I found a way to do it. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to pull down this tab here. And we're going to go to our node editor. <clears throat> Let's click on, click that, activate that. And then once you're in the uh, in the node editor, press end to to uh, close out the uh, that side panel. Click on the little blue circle, blue icon there, and you'll see here. This is what makes up the pro lighting skies. This little setup here. This is your default blender background, which is uh, 
it's uh, somewhere in these panels is here. This is where it's supposed to be, I think. <clears throat> but anyway, that's not what I'm talking about. But this is the default Blender background. And here is where the ProLighting Sky setup is. And like I mentioned, we want to, we want to rotate it on the Z-axis. <clears throat> Excuse me, not on the X-axis. So what you want to do is, first of all, go to this little area here and click on this. And click on Rotate on Z. <clears throat> and as soon as you do that, you'll see that this changes from uh, a gray node to a purple one, which means you can't connect it to, to uh, this output anymore. But what you're going to have to do is press Shift A and go to <coughs> input. <coughs> my my throat really. This is this is winter, so everyone's coughing and sneezing, so there's something in my throat. But Shift A and go to pull up the texture coordinate, and then press Shift A again. And from here, you're going to go to a texture. And you're going to actually go to a vector and pull up your mapping node there. Usually you can press Control T by the Node Wrangler, and they'll automatically bring all this up. But uh, sometimes the Node Wrangler works, and sometimes it doesn't. But uh, after you've pulled up your texture coordinates, your mapping coordinate, connect your generated uh, node to your vector, because it's purple to purple, and turn that to texture. And then what we're going to do next is um, press Shift A again, and we're going to pull up uh, image texture. Or actually, no, we're not going to pull that one. We're going to pull up the uh, environment texture. Let's see where that is. There it is, environment texture. And the good thing about that is uh, once you've opened up the scene in Blender. It automatically loads up uh, whatever environment texture you have already on your scene in your scene. So you're gonna go here and click on that and go to JPEG or XR. I usually use JPEG, and uh, we're gonna get rid of that all together. We don't even need that. So we're gonna connect this purple vector node to this purple vector node, and then we're gonna connect uh, the color. Actually. We're going to pull this down the background uh, background node. We're going to connect the color node yellow to the other color node, which is yellow. Or that's those are the inputs, and to connect the green background input to the surface uh, input. And as you can see, it resets the whole thing. So now what we can do is instead of it rotating on the x-axis, the texture sky. Now it can rotate it on the z-axis. So we're going to click on this a couple of times. You'll see the change here. And there you go. It automatically starts pulling down to cover up all the uh, the dark areas or the blackness underneath your object there. So basically, that's the best. That's the way a way you can use ProLighting Studios, uh, which was uh, made by Andrew Price as an add-on. And you can actually rotate your texture, your sky texture, uh, through um, the add-on from top to bottom on the z-axis as opposed to just having it only rotate on the x-axis. So yeah, that's uh, my quick tip for today. I hope it helps someone, and uh, thanks for listening. All right, see you guys on the next one. All right, bye.